Good morning. Okay, I did not plan on this at all, but I have had just so many questions about my Happy Meal, and so I'm just gonna do a video again. And this is it. I'm not doing this again, guys. <laughs> so, lots and lots and lots of people in my inbox about my Happy Meal, and honestly, like, I am not the Happy Meal queen. The Happy Meal queen is Shelby Joe. <laughs> So I'm just going to tell you guys what I do, hopefully answer um, all of your questions and get it over with. <laughs> so I feel so bad when people message me all day, all the time. I just cannot respond to all the messages because I am so focused on my own business and making it grow. And then, you know, kids and life and all the things. I just literally cannot message everybody back. Shelby, there you go. There's your plug. She started a YouTube channel. She is the Happy Mail Queen. She blows my Happy Mail out of the water. I really don't even know why you guys like mine because it's really nothing special. So um, my Happy Mail is super simple because I can't... The thought of Shelby's Happy Meal, I love it. And I would pay somebody to do it for me, but I cannot even think about making something so cute. It overwhelms me. Like she sends me the cutest things and I'm like, gosh, I want that in my Happy Meal. And sometimes I, so I have an assistant, like I'll just say that, um, that does my Happy Meal for me, but she just does what I tell her to. It's my kid and I do pay her. But um, I'll send Michaela things to like, put in my Happy Meal sometimes that Shelby makes, but the thought of me having to print it out and cut it out and do all the things to make it so adorable stresses me out. So my Happy Meal is kept super simple, but I do believe that appreciation goes so far. When was the last time you ordered from another direct selling company and they sent you something in the mail as a thank you? I literally have had it happen one time ever ever and I try to support other businesses like direct selling companies I never get something in the mail from them I think it's something that's like pretty special to the Cincy culture and I think it's something that we should all do it's a way to give back to our customers that are the lifeline to our businesses to be successful you have to give you have to be willing to give more than you take and trust the process. At first, it's going to feel like you're not making any money because you're giving so much away. But I promise you, if you stay consistent, it will pay off in huge ways. Um, I don't say this like to brag by any means, but I had one customer order twice this month and then order $400 last night while I was sleeping. And it's, it has to be because I spoil her. I make her feel valued and she is becoming my friend. I mail her stuff. I make her feel special, not just like another order to me. You have to be willing to give. Okay. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can give without breaking are using all of your money because I don't think you should use all of your money by any means on your customers. Obviously you're here to make money, but guys, we have hostess rewards. I stack hostess rewards and then it starts like becoming like a snowball because you're spoiling these customers and they're ordering more and your PRV is going up, but then you're getting more hostess rewards. So you can start with something small, like order just scent circles with your hostess rewards. Stop spending your hostess rewards on yourself. Do you really need another six pack of wax or can you order scent circles to give to your customers to make them feel special? I really think that it's a decision that can truly impact your business. Can you give up those hostess rewards to make your customers feel special? And you can because they're going to come back to you and then you're gonna have so many hostess rewards that you're going to be able to get stuff for you and for them. But in the meantime, start with them. Order bars of the scent of the month and give them away. So, okay, what I do is anybody that orders $40 and under gets a scent circle with like a normal envelope, a flat mailer. <coughs> I don't do a big Happy Meal packet. 
um, if it's total under $40, like with shipping and everything, because then you don't have to um, click on each individual order to like see the before tax and shipping and stuff. Shelby's right, consistency with this. Okay, so over $40, they get a Happy Meal packet from me. And because I keep it as simple as possible, it's different all the time. A lot of times I do a theme, like if it's Christmas, it'll have, um, this last Christmas I did a, like they had wrapping paper cutters at in the dollar spot at the bullseye, whatever it's called, and they were a dollar. So I bought a bunch of those and I put those in my orders or Christmas candy or um, just literally like whatever I can find. In the summer one month I did the sample packs of sunscreen and a drink mixer, like a singles to go or whatever of lemonade. Like you can look on my Pinterest and see some of the themes that I've done in the past. Um, but I don't always do a theme. So right now I literally have too many bars in my stock. Let me see if I could turn this around. Yeah. Okay. So that is just my fall and winter bars. And so many of those I've bought with hostess rewards like I didn't pay full price for those so instead of letting them sit on my shelf and not make me any money or not make anyone feel special I've been giving bars out in my happy meal why not right like why not use what you have to make somebody else smile or to make somebody else feel special I'm telling you if I ordered from another direct selling company and somebody sent me something like a free gift or even a thank you note, I would continue to buy from them. I would be loyal to them because I would know that my order made a difference to them. Like they see me, they didn't just see my order come through and were like, yes, I got an order. I made money and then done. Like I send a thank you text message when I get the order and tell them about my VIP group. And then I send mail. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Shipping is expensive, but it's a tax write off and it's an investment. It's part of it. So I only send these to um, people that order online. If they order and I, they pick up here, I put their gifts in their bag. Um, so obviously this all goes by your own budget, what you can afford, where you're at in your business. We are all at different places in our business and we can all do different things for our customers. But this is just what I do because my goodness, I've had probably... 60 people messaged me in the last 24 hours because I posted a picture of mine. So I just get whatever mailer I feel like getting. Um, Amazon, always. I even have cute ones with like my picture on them, like my caricature or whatever it is. Um, and I don't even use those very often. I just find cute, bright ones on Amazon. So these are the ones that like the holographic ones that everybody uses, only they're pink and purple. And so many people ask me where I got them. Amazon. I just type in like mailers and order them cheap ones. The poly mailers, you can't see through these, but they're still super cute. Okay. So all I send is a thank you postcard. I should have grabbed every single thing. A thank you postcard that I designed a while ago on, I use the studio app. It used to be over. Now it's studio. A lot of people use Canva. Um, there's so many different things, but I just designed my own postcard that says, thank you so much for your order. It has pictures of my kids on it. Um, my husband and all of my like social media links where they can find me. I stick one of those in there this week. My, uh, happy mail has this piece of paper in it that I actually printed myself. <laughs> I didn't make Michaela do this one. Um, I didn't even design this. You guys don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can use other people's stuff that they post. It has like Alive in the Senses Week, um, Cozy the Koala, I think you say her name like that, and the new Scentsy Fresh. And I put this in my Happy Mail in the front so that not only can they see it, but the male people can see it, just in case. You never know. Um, and then I have a gummy bear, Easter gummy bears. A candy is like my thing. It's so easy to send. Somebody asked me, does the candy smell like, does the scent go into the candy? No, I've never. Well, one time I had an issue, but it was chocolate. So I think I used the rest of them I need to order. I get candy from Sam's um, because or Costco because it's bulk and it's cheaper. And I got like 
this right now I have Easter candy and they're like um, gummy bunnies or something. So one of those and then a bar, which was actually a retired bar from the fall and winter because I need to move those. So I also have that many bars down in my basement, my spring and summer that I need to switch out and samples. I always send samples. So easy. Literally stuff that's like around your house and some candy. And I just use bright colors and stick it all together. And I use GoShippo is how I mail things. If you don't have GoShippo, it's amazing. You can put your debit card in there or your credit card. So I have my business account credit card or debit card in there. And it charges it all to my business account. And print my shipping labels on my Dymo printer. If you don't have a Dymo printer, you don't have to have one. You can literally print them on label paper and cut them out. You can print them on regular paper and cut them out um, and slap the label on and drop it off at the post office. Someone said, do you wrap your bars? No, so I don't send bars in the summer, but it's not hot here yet, so I'm sending bars. Um, I use all different, someone asked what size envelopes and I swear to God so many people ask me this let me look it up I should have looked it up beforehand but really I just try different ones like I have all different sizes of mailers and so sometimes I'll use my smaller ones I try to switch it up because I have so many reoccurring customers literally that order from me multiple times a month but they will not join my team I try um so until they decide to join, I just spoil them and send them all the things. But um, I try to switch my happy mail up as much as possible so they're not getting, like, the exact same thing all the time from me because that's no fun. Let me see. I'm going to talk about my stickers, too, because that's another thing I get a bazillion questions about. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Um, Go Shippo is not an app. It is a website. And I don't know. Let me go see what printer I have. It's an HP Office Jet Pro Premier. I don't know. I just ordered it off Amazon. But it does a good job. Okay, so my mailers are six and a half by nine, some of them literally just like all different sizes. My poly mailers are 10 by 13. So these are 10 by 13 and then you just fold them over and make it look nice and flat and organized. Um, where are the pink ones that I just got? Somebody just posted this morning in this group. I think it was this group about the magnets the motivational magnets that they ordered for Happy Mail, and I ordered those. So thanks whoever did that because those are flat, perfect for mailing, and it's something different. It's just something that I haven't ever sent before. I'm trying to find the size of these pink and purple ones. But I order Amazon like multiple times a day. Oh, here they are. Okay. There are five. 0.9 by 8.6. So I will post a bunch of links. Yes, like Shelby said, do not get caught up in sizes and just do it. Like if you worry too much about all the little details and all the little things that I'm doing and trying to match all of it, you're going to get overwhelmed. Just do something. Something is always better than nothing. And you can't do exactly what I do because that's not your personality. We are different people. What Shelby does, I can't do because that's not my personality. Like literally pick stuff out that you think is cute, that you think would make somebody feel special and roll with it because it's going to reflect your personality. Okay, so stickers. My husband's waiting for me outside, but I said I had to come talk to my friends first. Okay, so I get stickers from all over the place. They're my my OG sticker place is the one that I get my late these from. Okay, Shelby, who drew our little character person? Drop them in the comments because I can never remember. But the person that makes my actual sticker, so I designed my sticker on um, over or whatever it's called now, the app. And then I send it in and she just sends me like the circles. So she didn't make the sticker for me. She literally just 
printed them for me on paper, uh, I will tag that shop. It's called POM, P-O-M, Shop Love. It's on Instagram. I don't know why that's her name of her store, but it is. Purple Carrot Designs has the cutest, she's on Etsy, cutest, cutest, cutest stickers. This says best mail ever. I have a ton from her. I also sometimes make my own stickers. I made this on the app over or whatever it's called and printed at home. Um, you're helping a dream become reality. Purple Carrot Designs. These, I typed, I don't know who made these, but they're super cute. Scent with love. And they have like warmers and wax and stuff. I just typed in Scentsy stickers on Etsy. These are actually dated because I changed, but my Instagram handle, Purple Carrot Designs. Try to go through these really quick. Um, these address labels, aren't they so cute? There's my address in case you want to come visit me. Etsy. Guys, just type in Scentsy stickers on Etsy and a bazillion of them will come up and stick them all over your Happy Mail and switch it up all the time because it's fun, it's different, it's eye-catching, and it catches all of your guys' eye, so it has to catch customers because it's bright and colorful. Happy Mail inside. So I, I literally just do fun stickers all the time. Here's an old... Some of my old st other stuff that I put in my mailers before, like when bring back my bar, printed on normal paper, stuck in my happy mail. Um, Cincy Club perks with my logo and a scanner. Easy peasy. These I got off of Etsy too. Look how cute these are. I just got these and I love them because I really focus on Cincy Club with my customers. Um, so... I stick these on there and it says join the club and it has a little scanner on it. Etsy, somebody on Etsy. Like there's people out there on Etsy that make stickers and you literally don't have to do anything but order them. So I will link some of the places that I get my stickers from. You guys can quit asking me. I mean that in a nice way. Um, but with Happy Meal, guys, switch it up. Do fun things. Okay, so... My castle pre-orders, I ordered Disney stickers from Amazon. It was like $7 for 100 or something crazy. Put multiple Disney stickers in all my castle pre-orders. Do you. Make it you. Make it fun. Switch it up all the time. Go to the Dollar Tree. Go to Target Dollar Bins. Get candy from Sam's or Costco or whatever. Like literally just make it you and have fun with it. Don't try to copy somebody else. Be inspired, and you can always ask, like, where people get things or whatever that you think are cute. Like, I think these are really cute, and they had them in different colors, too. Um, so, for sure, like, ask people what they're doing and stuff, but just put your spin on it. It just makes it so much more personalized and fun, and your customers will appreciate it so much more. But here's those. Look. Look at the colors. So fun for summer, right? So 100 piece resealable Mylar Ziploc food storage bags or Happy Meal bags, you know, they need to fix their description. Let me run through these comments real quick. Can you make those on the Dymo? Oh, you can make, yeah, but mm -mm, that's too much work. I won't do it. But by all means, if you feel like you can tackle that task, do it. Purple Carrot is the best. So Michaela actually found purple carrot a long time ago and she was using them for something and then she sent it to me and I shared it in the Scentsy world and now she gets so many Scentsy people orders. Um, how often do I send happy mail whenever Michaela gets her butt down here to do it? So I text her like, I have a ton of online orders. So really weekly, she has to work on happy mail. I, I mean, I posted yesterday, I, I've had 160 well, now 165, 66 orders since March 1st. So I have to do Happy Meal often because it's too much if she lets it go and it gets behind. But you can totally do it however, however often you want. I want my customers to get their Happy Meal before they get their order. So there's something in between there that gets them excited. But you can totally do whatever you want. Um... Ashley says, thank you for this. I've been putting it off because I couldn't keep up with what everyone else was doing. 
going back to just what works for me. And that's literally what you have to do. Because if you get overwhelmed and do nothing, like do something. I don't care if you get a normal envelope, which by the way, I order off of Amazon also. Oh, here's my little, I think my, here's my little candies that I sent out this month. Happy Hoppers. That must be one the twins dropped because they get in all my candy. Um, I don't care if you get a normal envelope. Put a scent circle in there. You don't even have to do that. Get a freaking thank you note. Write with your hand how much you appreciate your customer and how when they order, that it makes a difference to you and your family. That you can buy groceries or you can send your kid to dance lessons or whatever it is and put it in an envelope and mail it for it with a stamp. When our customers know that a real human is being, their lives are being changed because of their orders, guys, that's a big deal. Like, I mean, I know that that, that makes a difference to me. If I know, would I rather order from Walmart and help a CEO buy their 10th vacation home? Or do I want to help a mom who literally sits down at her desk after dropping her kids off at school and works her business? I mean, it's a no-brainer. Like, when you show your customers how real you are and what a difference they make, they're going to want to be loyal to you and keep coming back to you. And that's how you grow your network and your PRV. You start with your customers in your immediate circle. And when you keep that circle and then grow, your PRV and your network grows. And that's how you can get $10,000 a month in PRV. But when you uh, just say nothing to a customer and then they go order from someone else like me and I spoil the poo out of them and they don't come back to you, your network doesn't grow. It stays the same. It stays small because your customers, you're not retaining. We have to keep our customers coming back because since he is a consumable product, if somebody has a warmer, they will always need wax from forever and ever and ever. And if they try our Scentsy Fresh and our laundry products and all the things, they're going to want to be a customer forever because it's freaking amazing. Keep them your customer because if not, there's hundreds of thousands of other people out there that they could buy from. Make them happy that they choose you. So many people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I found you. Like my last Scentsy consultant wouldn't even answer my messages. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, No. You found the right consultant. Make them be proud to be shopping from you. Okay, go shippo, better than pirate ship. I think it's the same. You can use any shipping um, person. Just don't go straight to the shipping, okay? This is what I learned the hard way. Literally for years, I was going straight to the, it's a, it's a shipping place local to me. I was going straight there and letting her print my labels and she was charging me extra. And I should have known that because obviously she has to make money, right? But when I use Go Shippo or you use Pirate Ship or whatever, it cuts out the middleman and your shipping is cheaper. But I do, when I send a bar in this, it's, it's $3, about $3. Telling you Happy Meal is an investment, but it pays off. Mm, yes, I will post links. Somebody ask if I will post links. I will do that today. I'm going to be in the car for a little bit with my husband. So, um, okay. Let me go back to the bottom. Do you bulk sample for happy mail or just make samples per happy mail week? I don't make samples. <laughs> Michaela does. And she just does it when I tell her to. So she bulk samples. I had her make samples of like when I got all of the spring and summer scents or whatever, I had her make samples of everything. And so I have huge baskets back there. My office is not the cleanest um, of samples and all the things. So next she's going to do the rainbow collection for me and the scent of the month. So yeah, I, I have her bulk sample that way when she does happy meal and sometimes I help her, but when happy meal goes out, we literally just grab what's there. What's most current. I want my customers smelling this rainbow collection. So Sometimes I send happy mail to people that don't order from me yet um, or people that have ordered from me in the past. I post in my VIP group, ask who wants samples of the rainbow collection or the vitamin collection that we just did. And I send out 20 packs of samples. I make them cute and I send it to them. And then I follow up with them because if you don't follow up with those people that you send samples to, like when they ask, they are not going to order. Mm -mm. 
you have to follow up with them. You send samples, then you wait a couple days after they get it and you ask them if they like them and they, you tell them you have an order going in and ask if they want to order. Most of the time they do. Do you track them though? Who gets what? Nope. That is too complicated for me. And if I had to do that, I wouldn't send happy mail. So no, I don't do that. But it's a good, I mean, it's a good idea. But I've switched it up so often that nobody gets the same stuff. What to use for follow-up? I use the Amy app or AMI or however you say it. No tracking system on my, oh, like for samples, I just go back to the post. So I'll make a post about the rainbow collection, ask who wants samples, and then I go back to that post and I follow up with all those people I sent them to. Guys, like I have five kids. Um, my daughter plays select basketball. My son shoots trap, like with guns um, and golfs. And I have five-year-old twins and I do not have time for fluff in my business. You might have time for like extra, you know, follow-up systems and all of that. And that some of that stuff really does work. I'm not saying it doesn't work by any means. You just have to do what works for you in your business. Like I can either do what I can, or I would be able to do nothing and make no money. But this works for me. It is not the most like systematic, you know, organized way, but it works for me and it works really, really well. I do not heat seal the packages, but I did buy one of those things. But you know, like I said, if it takes too long, I won't do it. So here it is in the package. I've never had any issues with anybody opening them because it's a felony to open somebody else's mail. And no one's done it yet, so I haven't had to even worry about it. Um, any other questions before I hop off of here? I'm trying to think of anything else. I can't think of anything. I just keep track. One last thing. I keep track of who gets Happy Mail, like where I'm at in my Happy Mail by when you go to go ship out. I don't know how pirate ship is, but it shows you who your last order or who your last shipment was to. And then I just go to my workstation and start where I left off. Super easy. I hope that you guys got something out of this. I'm going to use this link forever and ever amen to this video so that I can just send it to people. Um, I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel if you want to share it with your teams or whatever. And then I'll share the link in the group with links to some of the things that I use. Just get out there and start showing your customers how much they mean to you. On whatever budget you're on, it doesn't matter. Something is always better than nothing. And just do it. Set a day during the week to do it. Um, a number of people, like if you get 10 orders, get your happy mail done. And some people even like pre-make their happy mail packets and just grab them. Somebody gets an order, grab it, put an address on it, ship it out that day. You can totally do whatever works for you. There's so many other amazing leaders out there that do videos on happy mail on YouTube. Go check them out. See whose system works best for you because it might not be me. There might be somebody else out there that what they do would work better for you and your business. So just check out what everybody's doing and do something. Okay. Bye guys.